you I mean, all of you know that if you get liquid chlorine on your pants, you ruin your pants, you know, yeah. and the same, same with acid, you know, and I mean, the list goes on. If you get acid or chlorine in your eyes, you're in trouble. You know, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of those kinds of things that you guys need to be. I know it's not mainly to wear safety gear, but if I were you, I would seriously be considering wearing safety goggles and, and gloves for what you're doing out there. And and many times even a mask. But um, you need to do that. You know, if you get chlorine in your eye, for instance, if you get concentrated chlorine in your eye, you have 15 seconds to rinse it out before it does permanent corneal damage. Really. And let, let me tell you, that is not let, a good thing. And the best thing you, you can do, by the way, if you don't uh, have any water handy in a bottle or something that you can pour on your eyes, jump in the pool or at least bend down and splice the pool water in your face. But get some yeah. water in your eyes if you get that stuff on you. Yeah. But goggles, nice. goggles and safety glasses prevent you from sticking your hand in your eye. And if you guys own a business and you're concerned about safety, understand this. I taught safety. I was a certified mm -hmm. safety instructor. So mm -hmm. one of the things that I always tell people is that safety comes from the top down. So if you don't yes. care about safety, yep. neither will any of your employees. Yep. But That's the right. other thing is that safety uh, equipment is not at their, um, they don't get to decide. Right. It's not, it's not voluntary. If you say everybody in your company will wear a mask and goggles, they have to do it. And if they don't do it, you can fire them. And, and, you, and you should, and you should, because if not, they're going to get hurt and they're going to sue you and have a workers' comp claim and all those other things that go along with it. 